120 terrorists killed in Russian airstrikes in Syria, prominent leader of an Al-Qaeda affiliate allegedly killed. Damascus, Russian warplanes have killed 120 terrorists in attacks on the locations of an Al-Qaeda affiliated terrorist organization in Syria. As per reports, the head of the organization Kativa Al-Tahwed Wal-Jihad has been killed in the attack. UK-based human rights organization criticized that seven civilians were killed in this Russian attack. Meanwhile, Russia, which has been involved in the Ukraine conflict till now, is claimed to have diverted its attention to the developments in Syria with this attack. Moreover, the Al-Qaeda-affiliated Al-Nusra Front dominates Syria's northwestern Idlib province. Syria had previously expressed concerns over the growing influence of smaller terrorist groups linked to Al-Qaeda, including Al-Nusra, in the region, which borders Turkey. On Thursday, Russian warplanes launched at least 14 missile attacks against the Sheikh Yusuf area in the same Idlib province. The Syrian government news channel Sana reported that outposts, hidden bases, drones and rocket launchers of al-Nusra and other terrorist groups were destroyed in these attacks. A total of 120 terrorists of al-Qaeda affiliated Nusra group were killed in this attack, which is claimed to include more than 20 commanders. At the same time, Sarajuddin Mukhtarov, the head of another terrorist organization called Kativa al-Tahwed wal-Jihad, has also been killed. Russia's operation is the biggest shock for Al-Qaeda affiliated terrorist organizations in Idlib. But the UK-based human rights organization has alleged that Syrian civilians were killed in this attack by Russia. The organization is complaining that civilians have been killed in surface-to-surface -surface missile attacks in Idlib. In 2020, Russia took the initiative for a ceasefire in Syria. Russia had suggested that every group involved in the conflict in Syria, along with the Assad regime, should respect the ceasefire. But over the past few months, Syria has accused Turkey and Al-Qaeda affiliated terrorist organizations of violating the ceasefire by increasing attacks in Syria. United States had also camped in eastern Syria and carried out airstrikes on the bases of Iran and Iran-affiliated organizations. In such a situation, two days ago, Russia also announced its entry into the fight against terrorism by launching attacks on Al-Qaeda locations in Syria. But Kenneth Roth, the former head of the human rights organization, has expressed concern over this Russian attack. Roth claimed that by taking action in Idlib, Russia signaled a new action in Syria. Roth accused Russia of wiping out anti-Assad groups in Syria. UK-based human rights organization accused Russia of using cluster bombs for this attack. Meanwhile, for the past six months, the Russian military has been involved in the war in Ukraine. But suddenly, Russia has indicated that it has not withdrawn from the region by launching attacks on Al-Qaeda locations in Syria. In the past few days, while there has been an increased intensity of airstrikes in Syria by the United States and Israel, Russia has also increased the intensity of its attacks here.